Good morning. That's our song for Flintstones this month. Um, if you haven't joined us yet, I want to encourage you. Um, we're on Vimeo. I've shared it through email and on Facebook. And if you can't find it, just let me know. Um, I would love to send you a link with the video for the lesson for Flintstones. So, Good morning, kiddos. Let me see your hands way up high, way down low, way down high, way up high, and in your lap. All right. My dad is a contractor. That means like he builds houses for a living. That's what he does. And so all growing up, my dad worked at home and in his office at the house, there were these big pieces of paper that he would always have laying around. Do you know what I'm talking about? Anybody? They're called a blueprint. Have you ever seen a blueprint? I don't know if you know this, but you can't just be like, I'm gonna build a house and then just start throwing some wood together and some nails and go for it. You have to have a blueprint. That's the plan of how it's all gonna come together and work together. Do we have a picture of a blueprint? There we go. This is like a blueprint. It kind of shows you, okay, this is how big it's gonna be. First, we need this part to go together. It shows you how to put it together. In our Bible story today, God had a plan. I don't know if you guys have probably heard this story before. Adam and Eve, do you remember Adam and Eve? And then they had children, and then they had children, and then they had children. And sin came in. And the more children that they had, the more sin that came in. And before long, the earth was filling up with a bunch of sin and hate and destruction, and it broke God's heart. But there was one person who still had faith in God, who still trusted God, who still talked to God. Who was it? Anybody know? Jesus. Not Jesus. Who is it? Noah. Noah, that's right. It was Noah. And so God came to Noah and he said, this breaks my heart that there's so much sin and so much hate and so much destruction, but I have a plan. And he laid out this blueprint for Noah to build a boat in the middle of the desert. Sometimes God does things that are kind of go, that doesn't make sense. He had a plan for rescue. He had a plan to save Noah and his family. And you know what? It worked. It rained for 40 days and 40 nights, and they were saved on this boat. And eventually, the rain went away. It started to dry up, and they found land again. And then their children had children, had children, had children, and sin has started coming back, right? Sin is filling up the world. But does God have a plan? Has he had a plan from the very beginning? Yes, because God is a God who saves. He is a God who rescues us, even in our sin and even when we have been his enemies. God is a God who saves us. So this morning, we have penguins to make. All right, so you have your penguin, you're gonna cut it out, glue it on your blue piece of paper, and you've got cotton balls and little feet and a beak and eyes. So you may have busy hands and listening ears. <laughs> 